Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Place Final Fantasy VIII. In the last time, we just wandered around a little bit. We received a seed ranking of 4. And then we're going to go and meet Kistis in, in the uh, training centre. Because we're going to the secret area. We're probably going to kiss Miss Teacher. I'm going to go ahead and save here because I haven't done that yet. In about an hour. And God help me if I had to fight the giant fucking spider again. That would be a nightmare. Did you watch pretty much exactly an hour? And now what we have to do is get changed. We'll go to the train center. Alright, let's get a move on. I can't remember what she wants to do in the training center. And also, where the hell is the training center? I think it's to the left. That's a dormitory. Uh, obviously, can't go in there. That looks like the cafeteria, maybe. Which one is that now? Yeah, that's a calf. Try to remember the floor layer because I haven't actually explored gardens since I uh, started playing the game again. This is the parking lot. Quad. Okay. And down here is. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Never mind. This is the infirmary. Why is the infirmary shut off at night? What if I broke my toe? That would be uh, a little bit disastrous. We'll go ahead and do a complete lap of garden because I am a silly fool. This one here is the library. And that of course means that this has got to be the parking lot or the training center. One or two because they're both open at night I believe training center. So let's go ahead and probably kill ourselves. T-Rexes are really fucking hard for this level that you're at. You need to be careful. But here's Keystis. Let's go ahead and say hello. Keystis. There we go. T-Rex are. Status Junction. No! Not a tutorial! Oh, Keystis, you absolute troll! I know it's a junction status. Of course, the T Rex are sent you to sleep, doesn't he? So you have to try and stop that. That makes sense because I'm trying to juncture status effects, not damage or resistances. Indeed, because they are resistant. I unfortunately do not have 80 sleeps available at my disposal. Oh, it was sooner. Sooner is fantastic for this year. It's always good to junction. Like, 100 as soon as it gives you... I think it's 20% in everything, which is really great. It's like having a, a small, low-quality ribbon. I don't even have any sleeps, I don't think. Uh, I need to make sure it's a junction to Keystis. So... Let's give a quiz card off. Can we just use draw GF and item? The standards. Don't think I have any magic on the junction at this point. No. No, nothing. Yep. Yeah. It's a shame. Okay then. Um 
I'm just going to check on my Guardian Forces as well, because I believe some are leveled up, but I don't know if they're learning everything I want them to right now. HP Junction's fine. It's actually really good in my opinion. Uh, for Chris Cardall, Shiva's going to be learning Strength as well. That's fine, because I'm going to be using that on Squall. Or was I using it on Selfie? It doesn't matter. Still good. Uh, Efrit's learning Strength plus 20%. Yeah, that's definitely for Squall. Boost is obviously complete on him. And then Siren finally should be learning boost. Yep, 2 out of 10. And now let's just go ahead and make our way into the training centre. Well, we're probably going to die to a T Rex star because I can't junction sleep to my attack. Uh, let's go to the right. I kind of feel like I'm entering Jurassic Park at this point. It certainly looks a little bit like it's Jurassic Park. Well, these shouldn't be too hard. I think they're weak against fire. Oh, new magic. Sleeps! Oh yeah! What's this one? Silences. There's some nice status effects to pick up there. So let's just go to town. Wow, how much health do these guys have? I don't want to break out summon of oh, vampire. I know exactly what that's going to do. Still my health. I'm going to cut you up, bitch. There we go. One finally falls, so they've not got too much health. Easily taken down. Probably about one more barrage of attacks. And that should be the end of this random encounter. Not quite. Still standing the resilient little fucker. There we go. Critical hit from Kesis. So Let's carry on through now. Level up as well. Awesome. We get some sleep and silence powders as well. So if I come across a, a T Rex, I might just use a sleep powder on him. See what I can do. There is some magic I can draw over there, but I think it's on the other side. Here he is. The gargantuan that is a T Rex. -R. Sometimes it's better to run. Well, I'm a man! Oh my good lord, that hurt. Uh, where's that sleep header? Did I not get any sleep header? What the hell? Okay. Uh, let's just... Start summoning some shit on him. This could be bad though. I might actually end up running away. Things get a little hairy. I don't want to get game over against the T-Rex are. Go ahead and spawn the boost here. Under 64. Very nice. Boom. 5, 6, 8. Not too much damage, but it's a decent amount. Oh, God damn it. Nice. 
Not bad. I'm no idea how much health this guy has. Well, I might just start using draw magics. 54. That was terrible. We'll try to fire one next with uh, Keysis. 66 from that. If fire does more damage than Squall Shot, I'm just going to carry on using that. 62. Okay, Squall can attack with a gun blade. Keysis can attack with the draw fire. But I have to be very careful now. Don't even know if he's close to death. Hundred and forty-four. Very nice. Wow, twenty-four. Okay, that one was a little weaker. Okay, I think now's the time to start summoning again because he's doing a bit of damage to me. And that scares me. I want to take down this T-Rex because I believe the rewards are pretty good. Let's see what we're going to work here. I believe it's how far this is a substantial amount here. 150 on the boost. Maybe a bit more. 156, not bad at all. That'll do 527. It's pretty nice. It's not enough to kill him now. I use the thunderstorm. Well, instantly reset it. Not a problem. Better early than late. Number 14, that's pretty terrible. Uh, 3 5 9 he's got to be close to death now because I'm getting close to death. Oh, come on. Really? This dumb fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex. My god. Keep on going, stand with the summons. One five eight. that's pretty nice. Five two nine. Good damage, good damage. Definitely be satisfied with that. But please fall over and die, you stupid fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex. Holy shit. And I'm getting pretty low on health now. So if I think if Thunderstorm and Hellfire don't work again, then I'm just gonna run. Which it's, it's a little bit shitty because I put a lot of effort into this fight. Unfortunately, I don't have any potions in stock, so it's not in my best interest to fight this guy any further than I have to. No potions. I really don't want to use an elixir as well. Sucked. We set the boost in now. Like a complete tool. Oh my lord. Okay, this is going to be like minimal damage shell fire now. Clutching at straws now. Really want this guy to fall over. Because right now this situation is getting a little scary. If I can get a red soccer can off, maybe I'll be okay. But I'm going to get a chance. Yes, I am. There we go. Double limit break time. It's desperation. Wow, I'm really bad at that. This is some work I made of here. Wow. That laser eye. Holy cow.
One more attempt. I can't hit him! I'm not breaking up this trigger! And I've been fine with it before. This has to kill him. Oh man, are you joking? How much health does this guy have? Like, seriously. Well, Squall's down. It's up to quiz this with the laser eye. And then I'm legging it after that. Might be a little bit too late, though. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, man. That could have been close as shit. So I've got good experience on Keystis there, but... Fuck, how much health does that guy have? Jesus Christ. That was ridiculous. I, mean, I could have very nearly died in that, but... Man. So shitty. Uh, I need to give cures over. This is the good thing I like about this game, though, is the fact that you can swap your magic around between your characters. So, if you're in a sticky situation like this, then cures a possibility. Okay, let's just carry on forward. I'm not going to fight another T-Rex up because it seems that like I can't finish him off. We have here. Blizzard. I'm going to have to kiss this. Because why not? Pound drop point, nothing there. Oh, this is a nice little bit of relief. I fight some T-Rex are. And I fight one of these little douches. Easy as hell to take down. Oh man, don't be a douchebag. Oh. <laughs> well, at least he missed the squall. Right, he just wakes Keith's back up again. Wasting my time. So, we're very close to finishing this guy off now. There we go. He's down. We will hopefully carry on to the secret area. Squall very close to leveling up now. If it's leveled up as well, it's awesome. Right, let's just get the hell out of here. Another random encounter. Now. I'm just going to run. I cannot be bothered to take these guys down right now. Because I will. I want to wrap this episode up pretty shortly. So I know I'm not enjoying playing the game. So I'm kind of desperate for the toilet right now. And seeing as that all the videos that go up on YouTube are actually just recorded straight from Twitch. In fact, here is a spot that I can do it. So, thank you all for watching. And I shall see you in the next part of Rabbit Plays Final Fantasy VIII.